is a call the CDC daddy. Now, especially obviously a fly tied with CDC fibers, uh, hackles, that gives a great impression on the in the water. Uh, I, I personally like to fish this as itself more than as a team, but though it can be fished in the team, and it can be fished subsurface, uh, it can be pulled down like a a wet near enough. So it's a good pattern if you can if you can tie a few, and you can tie it much smaller. In this case, this is uh, an international size if it's within the gauge, so it can be fished. Also, the body. Uh, I like to use two types of body. This is a tan suede chenille. It's a small or uh, a micro as you would say. And this is a the tube cut tanned coloured uh, HD foam, a high dense foam. Now all I've done here is cut it into a point. I coloured it with a brown pen. But I'll show you the suede chenille one. Uh, it's quite good to use. It's a, it's a, good, it's a good body. Now the hook I'm using, this is a Camasan. It's a B160 size 10. Now, the size 10 is obviously the 160 is a short shank, wide gape. Now, the shank's equivalent to a size 12, but the gape's equivalent to a size 10. And it certainly suits detached bodied flies like this. So, here I'm going to use, you can use a tan. In this case, I'm using a dark brown. It's up to yourself. Now, you start at the eye. Just run my thread down until in line with the point of the hook. Now when you tie the legs in first, which are obviously, these are pre-knotted pheasant tail legs, cock pheasant tail. Two knots on each leg. Now you need six legs. The length is entirely up to yourself. Obviously, within, if you're fishing with international rules, it has to be about down here. But we're not doing that, so we need a full length, which is a, an inch and a half or so. Now you tie these on top. And then what I'm going to use is the thread turns to separate them by just winding through, like figure eight and separating the fibres so they don't stick together as too much, but it doesn't matter, it helps a wee bit, so as you can see it spreads the legs. Trim away the waist, then about halfway up or so. And then the way back down, and we tie in the sweat chenille. Just offer it to the side. And I'm going to wax my thread here, make sure we have plenty of grip. And then take it down. Now, you can either basically have a medium thickness sweat chenille, have a single strand, and then burn the end. But with the micro or this one, what I'd like to do is to it's a, put twists into it, I mean, turn. One way, tighten it up, and then look at the length that you want in the body, which is about two thirds in. And then come in, and what these twists will do, will, as you can see, twist these bodies together, or twist it, put a kink into the actual sh the, the suede chenille, and that forms the body. Now we can check the length at this point. If you want a wee bit shorter, we can always go go in a wee bit. So I prefer a wee bit shorter than that. So I'm going to go back, and again I'll show you how to do the body, just in case you missed that. So the twists are all out. Again, we twist one way. You'll know when to stop. It gets too tight. Hold the body length that you want. Just come in a wee bit. Hold it there and allow it to so, kink or twist then hold again the body and then pinch and loop nice and tight make sure it's tight and doesn't pull out there's your body so I'm going to trim there again a wee bit more wax it's your waist away and then make sure it's tied in see how it's in now you can colour up the end using a Pantone pen or a permanent marker, it's up to yourself. Uh, I'm just going to use just, I'll just use the permanent marker pen in brown. Just going to colour it up. Now, as well, what you can do, 
I'm going to use a, a UV resin just to round the end and then set it obviously. Now, if you're going to be fishing these flies, what I'd recommend you do is to put on your float in the night before. Use like a use a muslin or whatever you like, so, or your gink. Just basically put it on the night before, allow it to dry, and the fly will last or sit really longer. And it's entirely up to you. Now, because the CDC feathers, these have been obviously bleached and dyed, so. You have to put the oils back in, you have to make them float. For the wing, just using, it could be anything really, but I'm using a, just an Indian cock neck. And this colour, this, this is a Cree. Just two feathers, it can be small or large, it's up to yourself. Just the tips you're looking for. All I do is line up the ends, towards the end of the body. Just tying them on top, a couple or two or three loose turns, just to basically secure them. And then what you want to do is separate them. Just come in and, if you like that, I'll separate them for you. And then you can tighten up, just to encourage them to stay like that. It's really easy, it's not hard. Again, you can trim these slightly at an angle, so you get a taper. And then what I like to do is wax my thread so that it gives me plenty of grip. Just tidy the area up. Now I'm going to tie in the CDC feathers. Now the colours I'm using is a natural grey. This is a tan and a cinnamon. And I'm going to tie them all in together. So basically one on top of the other with a natural curve. You can see there's a, a natural curve all going the same way. Looking at basically, you can tie them with the inside facing yourself, it doesn't matter either way. I'm just going to pull these fibres so I can tie in the tips. Just take your time. As much of the CDC feathers you can get. And then always the trim. Catch these in. Make sure they're secure. The wax will give you plenty of grip. Then I'm using the tan natural fur. Could be any type of fur that you've got. Could be you could use hair's ear dubbing, anything like that. Some that's as close to the colour as the CDC. And so it gets caught and I'll twist so that and get the dubbing to sit on the thread better. At this point you can check to see where you are, you can come in, tidy up that area. It's okay. Wind down, now leave yourself a good head area to tie in the CDC. And all we do is wind the three together. It's best to have the feathers that are much the same size. And then we just wind through the dubbing. Now the dubbing will act as a nice cushion to the, the stems of the CDC because it will the CDC feathers uh, the stems are quite thick. Now as I wind I'm drawing back the fibres. Now as I let go of the feathers here I pinch the thorax and the feathers. Come round. You'll know when to stop. And then come up. Thread turns. Make sure it's nice and tight. Good. A few turns because the CDC feathers, as I say, they're quite stiff. So now I'm coming in with a sharp pair of scissors, trim away the waste, tidy up the head area. Make sure you give yourself plenty of room to tie these in. Now, what I'm going to do is get some Velcro just to lift out these CDC fibers because they will be twisted. Don't worry too much about the length at the moment, you can always. Don't trim them with the scissors, but you can break some of the fibres back or keep them because the long fibres do sit nice. 
Now I'm going to tidy the head area up with a tiny bit more dubbing. More of the same tan dubbing. Just slide it up. Just giving a nice head area. And then you want your wet finish. And trim. Now what I'm going to do here is use a hair dryer just to open these fibres out just to see how they're sitting. And this will bring out any twists in the fibres. You can see exactly how the length and so on. As I say, don't be shy with these fibres because that's the, the, once this sits on the water, all these fibres here because just CDC fibres are soft, it lifts up. Now it gives a great impression on the surface, a, a, like an impression on the surface. Now you can look at the length. Now I wouldn't take these back too far, but just to give you an idea what you can do is just break away the ends. Don't cut them, because it just look terrible if you do that. See where the fibres are. It's a good way to use the, the hair dryer just to see if you're making a fly, the length will show you the length of the fibres. And there we are. As I say, all you have to do is put on your floatant, just a light floatant, not one that's heavy, like a liquid or so. Um, you want to put it in and allow it to dry overnight and then you'll have a perfect fly for sitting. Uh, do that while we have flies. And there we are, and that's your CDC. Daddy Longley.